Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first day of my last semester of college. I'm a senior and I'm graduating early. So I wanted to do a fun little makeup look just for my first last day. So this is the look, this is the finished look. I'm gonna be showing you how I got this look. Excuse the wet hair and like really gross face. I literally just got out of the shower. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna be using a paint pot by MAC. This one's in Painterly. So I'm just gonna put that on my eyes because I'm gonna start doing my eyeshadow first because if I get any fallout under my eyes of shadow, especially like shimmery shadow, it's best to do that first and then do all your foundation and cover up so that you can fix it. Next, I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. It's an all matte palette. I'm gonna go into the crease with this color, the reddish one, which is extra bitter. So I'm just gonna take a crease brush and go right into my crease. That's kind of our base. I'm gonna go in with this little mini e.l.f. palette, um, Mad for Matte Eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go in with this like pinker and just hit kind of like this half of my crease. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I'm gonna go into the corner of my crease, like this area, which is called like the outer V. Color Cozy from this Tarte Toasted Palette, which is a little bit of a darker red. So that's what I'm gonna do with all the matte shades, and now I'm gonna go in for some shimmer shades on the lid. That was a lot of ham. So I'm just gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use the color Candle in the same Tarte Palette. I'm just gonna coat my eyelid and take S'more, which is like this first color. I'm gonna go a little bit in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go highlight my eye before fixing up the crease. I'm gonna be using Benefit High Beam. And I'm just gonna put like a little line there. Now I'm gonna go back in with that original color from the Naked Basics one, this like red, and just kind of blend that into the highlight so it's not such a harsh line. Obviously I look a little bit crazy now because I have like these full eyes and nothing on my face. It'll get better. I'm gonna add some eyeliner. I'm gonna do this Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. Where are you, pencil? I'm just gonna line kind of the outer corner of my waterline with this Marc Jacobs Black Liner. I find that these are really great for your waterline. They stay on, they're waterproof, and they glide on so smoothly. Now I'm gonna do mascara. I'm gonna be using my favorite, the Estee Lauder, which I just found out doesn't exist anymore. I'm gonna use the rest of it while it's still here. My eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna do my brows I'm using Anastasia Brow Powder. <laughs> brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown little brow brush, double-ended. I'm gonna brush them. I'm just gonna kind of mix these two colors together and fill them in. Brows are done, eyes are done. I'm just gonna take some loose setting powder. This is Laura, this, this is Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna set my eyes, just taking kind of a, a just kind of like a fluffy bra, a fluffy fra, flat, a fluffy fat, oh my God. Fluffy flat brush. I'm just gonna set my eyes with some translucent powder. I just grabbed a cotton round with some makeup remover, so I'm gonna go all the way under my eye because there's lots of glitter. So now we can move on to the face and I'll look a little bit less crazy. Take some primer. This is just NYX Shine Killer Primer. I'm gonna take this Kat Von D concealer, a locket concealer cream under my eye, over my little pimple, down my nose because my nose always gets weirdly more tan than the rest of my face, and then cover any zits I got. If you have clear skin, you probably don't have to use concealer, or you could just do concealer, no foundation. I have to do both because my skin's a hot mess. I'm gonna go in with this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, which I just came out with. It's full coverage matte foundation in the shade Medium Buff, because I'm buff. And I'm just gonna dab that all over. Get up to that hairline. That's the name of my next album. Get up to that hairline. This step is optional. I like to do it because, as I said, I get a little sweaty. So I like to have that layer of setting. Tinted setting powder. This is also Kat Von D's Locket in medium 53. And I'm just gonna set my face real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight contour blush. Take the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm gonna use this color golden, golden bronze. And I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit, very a little bit contour. Next, I'm gonna do blush, and I'm gonna take this blush from Top in Parte. It has three A's, Parte. I really like this blush. I got it in the Sephora like birthday gift. If you're a member at Sephora, you get a birthday gift on your birthday or during your birthday month. I'm gonna blend it out. I'm not gonna do any highlight just because I don't like how highlight looks on me. Sometimes I do it, just not 
today. I'm gonna go back in with my loose setting powder. Again, this step is also optional. I just like to set my face like as many times as possible. I'm gonna do kind of a nude lip just cause I'm doing a more intense eye look. So I'm gonna be using this Tarte Matte Lip Thing, lip paint came, that's called Birthday Suit and it came with this blush. So this was like my birthday gift from Sephora. So yeah, that's my back to school look. Gotta go do my hair. I'll probably just blow dry it. You know, if you like this video, if you wanna see more makeup stuff, um, feel free to drop suggestions. I'm open to doing whatever people want. And new videos, I'm trying to do new videos every Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.